Now we turn to our election coverage. The November 13th election is over and results are in. Voters made decisions on the state's tax structure and local officials, but despite an, up, an uptick in early voting numbers, the overall turnout was low for this election. Our Taylor Tool joins us live in studio. And Taylor, what did you find out about the low turnout? Hi, Amon. Yes, I spoke with PAR Louisiana Policy Director Stephen Procopio about the low turnout. He says it could be because of the type of election, concerns over the pandemic, or continued hurricane recovery. You could see anywhere from you know, a 24 to even a 40% turnout. Uh, so you have 14% is much lower. Procopio says that higher turnout elections typically surround a gubernatorial or presidential race. The turnout is going to be a little bit higher in New Orleans because they had a mayor's race. And so that was a fairly major, major race. Uh, where other places that didn't necessarily have uh, races, maybe they were only voting on constitutional amendments and a couple of other ballot initiatives, um, you know, library taxes, probably didn't vote as much um, because there wasn't as much on the ballot for them to vote for. Another common issue during state elections, Procopio says, is voter confusion, especially when it comes to constitutional amendments. At the end of the day, we have a complicated constitution and changes to it are often complicated. And so there's, you know, it's going to be a work that has to be done by the citizens and by the people that propose these uh, amendments to really make sure people understand. As for the amendment that did pass, Amendment 2, Procopio tells me. We got rid of the income tax deduction for federal taxes paid off of your state uh, income tax. And so that will go away, but your sales tax or your income tax rates will go down. So overall, it's a roughly revenue neutral change, but it was also a slight tax cut for, for most people. Procopio tells me that every election at every level is different, but one thing he says should never change is making sure voters stay educated in the decisions they make at the ballot box. Live in studio, Taylor Toole, KATC TV3.